You were right. Okay. Well, how's it going, guys? We're back at you with another episode of the So On Pro Podcast. This is your host, T. Robinson, a.k.a. Sep30 underscore get fit on Instagram. And I got my co-host with me. The man who needs no introduction. Love pay 92, even on the PA system. Even on the PA system. How you doing, Reggie? I'm doing great. Doing good. What you do for the uh, the week we were off? What did I do? I, I went back to uh, record mode again. It's like uh, I was trying to take two weeks off, but again, I kept having that creative itch where I went back and started recording again. Okay. Yeah, that's what I did a lot. Well, what did you do? Last week, um, I was sick as a fucking dog. I seen the other story. Yeah, my uh, daughter. She ended up getting, I think she got it from her, her friend, little neighbor kid. She had got sick. It seemed like it was allergies at first because it started off with a bunch of sneezing. Yeah. And I'm like, well, it's probably allergies. She just sneezing. She got itchy nose. But no, that turned into a cough. It turned into, you know, not just hella snot and shit. Yeah. And then I'm like, okay, she's sick. Next thing you know, I'm sneezing. I'm at work. It was a Wednesday. And I'm sneezing like crazy. I'm like, oh, that's probably my allergies. Like, I got allergies bad. Then the next day, I I was fucked. Yeah. Cause that, it was the Thursday and like I, I worked through it and I just had a hard time. Then Friday I woke up with shivers and shit. And I was like, I'm not doing shit. I'm not doing nothing this weekend. I'm staying at home and I am resting. She took us out. Like even Brittany was sick. We were we were out of commission for a for a good minute. And I just didn't want to give that to anybody else. Yeah. I wouldn't oh oh my yeah. That would have been flush right. Yeah, yeah, if it, like, if I came out, it would have just been a big, a big mess. So, I did the responsible thing, um, and I just stayed home. Now I'm not the only one called out when I got sick. Bye-bye. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, I did get a new car. I just recently made a new purchase. It's a nice, beautiful, black-on-black -black Jeep Grand Cherokee Overland four-wheel drive V8 engine Hemi. That's how you know it's bad on gas. I put I filled that tank up yesterday. You know how much it took just to fill it up? How much? A little over eighty dollars, like eighty two dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, it's not good on gas. I'll tell you that much. But it looks good, and I feel like I deserve it. Yeah. You know why? Because I'm a hardworking father. And that brings us into what we're going to talk about today. Oh, and by the way, uh, happy Juneteenth! It is Juneteenth officially. It's uh, a federal holiday, so next year, <laughs> I'm talking to my job. I'm gonna need that day off, baby. Me and all my black coworkers. I mean, my white coworkers too, if y'all wanna give everybody an off, but you know, specifically, the black ones. The black ones need the day off. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Just think of it as some type of form of reparations, maybe. But we'll save that conversation for something else. We're talking about Father's Day. Because guess what? Today's Father's Day, if you're listening to it on Sunday. And yesterday was Father's Day, if you're listening to it on Monday. And it was Father's Day, if you're listening to this any other time after Father's Day. And we're going to talk about how it is being a father. What does it mean? How our fathers was for us. And what dads, and give dads the flowers they deserve. Yeah. Give dads they the flowers, they, and when I say that, when I say give dads the flowers they deserve, I mean that fucking literally. Y'all spend too much fuck. No, no, let me shut up. No, I was gonna say something. I'm just gonna say us fathers, we want the same treatment mama get. You feel me on Mother's Day? I want, I want flowers. Uh, I want chocolate covered strawberries. Uh, I want pig I, I, I want, I want, I want, I want a tracksuit, brand new, brand new tracksuit. Give me some bath and body works lotion for these hands. I, I will take all that happily as a father. That 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 suit, that uh that, that uh tie and socks and shit that a lot of these dads be getting, don't do that shit. That's stocking stuffers. I mean see, I don't want that just random filler upper. Yeah, if I if I get something, get your bottle of hips, you know, play like five game. See, he wants that's that's perfect gift. Just focus on your man, women. If you see that he's like he's really into gaming, buy him a new controller or some shit. Like he's gonna be so happy with that. If you know he likes to have a drink in there, get him a bottle of the Hennessy. Man. You, you feel me? Like, Ironically, it's Juneteenth. You gotta give him a bottle of 
We don't. We don't yeah. want. We don't want no vodka. We don't need to see. We don't want no paper mache, card, a tie, and some socks. Them is stocking stuffers. Yeah. We don't want that shit out. We want our flowers too. Don't get no random gift and then hit the most cheapest. Not really thought. Yeah, I'll give and hit, hit the thought that counts because I really believe it's a double entendre. Hit the thought that counts. Mm -hmm. You thinking about the person and what the person like, and then you give them a gift, not a random gift, and then be like, it was a thought that counts. I well, you didn't put much thought into it, damn it. You didn't, they don't put no thought into it. They go to the cheap place, they pick up anything, and then just say they got something. That's not a thought. You just want to say you did something. I'm just saying, I just want the same treatment mama get. Yeah. Maybe maybe not 100% the same treatment because, you know, it's my, you know, mamas, they get what they deserve. Like, I don't need a bouquet, but, like, at least give me a flower and a box of seeds candy, my nigga. Like, please. I'll take it. But I don't want to sound ungrateful. Because I'm very grateful to be a dad. Now, Reggie, you're a father, right? Yeah. yeah. And how old is your son? Six. Six years old. And in these past six years of you being a dad, what has having a son taught you? Uh, it taught me a lot. Can you speak to the mic a little better? Huh? Can you speak to the mic? Oh, it taught me a lot. It taught me, uh, sometimes some of the shit that Uncle Tommy be saying, he's not just saying that shit there, but you gotta push the blinds. So you be like, yo, because sometimes he can be a, 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 it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, again, it's a double one time mm -hmm. to where you enjoy having a kid, but sometimes, sometimes you gotta have your you tired mm -hmm. and they play in the phone and stuff and they still just, hey, 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 hey. Oh, they need it, attention. It taught me, uh, hmm. As I got older, flush. I, I have no, no. I get frustrated fast, but it also taught me where I gotta, I gotta leave a mark. I gotta be on my ish. Cause like yo, cause you you a hero to your kid with anything you do. You can be an unknown rapper. They love the ish out of you because you there. You you know you mm -hmm. you there. You that your dad. You that dad. So I'm like yo. Uh, he, I just like make me know. I'm like that's why. It taught me too. I gotta learn what you know. I used to talk when I was younger. Mm -hmm. I gotta watch the what I say and how I say things. And mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Cause I'm like, it's not just social media paying to me. My son paying to me. The moment I disrespect a woman, I mean, even if I have a sit down, have a full house talk with him, mm -hmm. he's gonna still do exactly what he sees me do because he sees me do it. That full house talk don't mean nothing. Mm -hmm. It taught me so many things. So I'm like, I know. A lot of adults in the past, they wouldn't kid trip or would never send a lot of this stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, at, what I've learned from being a father is that <clears throat> I understand what my parents would say when they be like, oh, it's over there, and I look, it's not there, yeah. and then they go over there and find it. Kids don't look for shit. Man. They are terrible. Oh, my God. I would like to apologize. To my dad. That is very frustrating. I would like to apologize to my dad and my mom because, you know, when I was younger and I'd be like, oh, I I, I can't see it. Yeah. And then the parent, my dad would come in there and be like, it's right here. Yeah. And I'd be like, it wasn't there a moment ago. How the fuck did you find it? I, I'm starting to see that now. You As trying to do it to the yeah. nice way, but you'd be like, it's right there. Did right you get there, aggressive yeah, because yeah. it'd be right there. On a, hey, hey. No, but in my defense, I wear glasses. Some of the times I didn't have my glasses on, so I'm, I'm legally blind. So I can't take 100% of that, but I understand because my daughter, she is not blind. She yeah. has great vision. She sees shit so far away that I'm like, how the fuck did you see that? But at the same time, I'm like, hey, your shoe is on the left side of your bed by the bar, and she's standing right next to it, and I'm pointing down at her feet, and she looks to the right instead of the left. Yeah. I'm like, are you kidding me? This can't Art. be real. You can't write this shit. Art. <laughs> the phone is right there. And they be looking, and they be having that serious. I'm like, how are you actually really serious and focused on looking, but you looking over it? Looking right You're past looking you. over this shit. Ah, oh, man, you know... When you hear the saying, hide it in plain sight, nobody ever find it, that shit is true. Because you put something in plain sight, a lot of people won't even notice the shit. And I don't understand when I was younger, I couldn't see shit because uh, my vision get effed up until 
2017. Yeah, so, uh, fatherhood, fatherhood I, taught me patience, yeah, um, especially because I, I got a little girl. I have no patience. I, I got a little girl. Um, I, I've always had patience. I got the patience of patience of a saint. But every now and then, like after you know, I work hard. I'm at work long hours of the day. I come home and my daughter, she just wants to love me and hug on me and lean on me and stuff. And I just be like, just give daddy five minutes just to just to relax. But like at the same time, like she's she misses me. Yeah. And like I love the love I get, you know, just coming home and just having that little person there that's excited to see you is just such a great feeling. And and the, and the fact that, you know, these little people that you have they love you unconditionally. Yeah. They love you unconditionally. They're in the hug thing randomly. Mm -hmm. Hug, hug, hug. You like, want to hug you, kiss you, lean yeah. on you. You be like, yeah, okay, and, okay, and, okay, okay, okay. I get it. And at, and at the ten, and at the age that our kids are right now, it's just really unconditional. Like, you could literally hurt their feelings. Yeah. You could you could physically hurt them. Not like to a degree, yeah. like you're doing, like you want yeah. to like, but five minutes later they're going to be back on you, hugging you and yeah. stuff, like you did nothing wrong to them. In, they could be playing with a game and still want to lay on you just because they want to be around because again you are your kid hero mm -hmm. no matter until they see the gossip in which someone speak of you and for themselves you are your kid hero mm -hmm. and I'm like unfortunately people can say what they want about me but my son and know already where mm -hmm. you're like yeah yeah no mm -hmm. no I'm like, yo, that's that's rare because normally kids' mind get tainted, mm -hmm. you know, with the if they hear around somebody speaking negative of a certain adult, any adult, not even just their parents, their mind naturally fade on to that. So I'm like, I'm for I'm uh, I'm very lucky to not get that mm -hmm. because I'm like, yo, I definitely understand that as kids when I heard certain about certain people, I'm like, yeah, let me hand to you from over here. Mm -hmm. so I'm like, so when to know that I know for a fact. You get spoke over there, my son's sleep was like, my dad. That's my dad. You're my dad. Are you recording today? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you make a guy do one of your videos. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, even though you look at this small thing like I look at it, even though I'm nothing, you think it's something big like I think of it. I'm like, that's legit. Again, that make you jump for joy. Like, this is really they're, they're your big, they're your biggest fan. This is, so, uh, you, but you actually think, uh, oh, well, okay. You know, my daughter, she, my daughter and my nephew, by the way, they'll see like our videos yeah. on YouTube, and they be so excited. They're like, "Oh my gosh, you're on YouTube!" And they're, 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 they are some fans, yeah. and I love it. Even though they don't understand nothing, yeah. that, they don't understand the context of the conversations that we be yeah. having. Yeah. If they did, I'd be like, hey, Dude, "Kids are smarter than we give them credit." For. I know that, but I know yeah. they don't know what the fuck we talking about. I know that because every time Anthony here, he legit be talking about the videos and everything. You video, I'm like, yo. And sometimes you like, even though it's my product or whatever, you be like, I'm kind of just trying to avoid that issue. Right yeah, now. yeah, just yeah. It up. Yeah, just like, it up. That same thing with Christian. Like, I be trying to avoid even thinking about making a video or anything. Mm -hmm. The moment I put a swear on, you about to record? It's like, I'm, I'm, like, mm -hmm. I'm avoiding thinking about that because I'm trying to see if I can live life without worrying about being entertained or worried about recording something or mm -hmm. recording my thoughts or anything. I'm like, I'm trying to be. How I was or anywhere, how was their entire social would talk, but they bring it up so much you like. So this is what it is to have a fan base, mm -hmm. and you guys try to be. I'm like, yo, this is overwhelming. Now, can we can we talk about something else? Yeah. You know, you know, it's funny. Um, just back, just we're gonna go back to the father stuff subject, but yeah. just with the fan situation, there's people that have come up to me and they'll ask me questions. They're like, oh, I, I saw you. Like I, people I never even guessed would yeah. watch the show, and I think it's great. And I do support anybody that check us out and watch us because we're not trying to do this for anything except for our own enjoyment and entertainment and then like just like with our kids i want to leave some type of mark on the world so like if somebody do want to know who i am they could go back and watch these videos or listen to the show and be like oh that's the type of character he was yeah because even after the camera cut it's not like we like Action. Yeah, action. Oh, and then it's then cut. Yeah, let's get serious. And I, we, I totally disagree with everything you talked about. Like, no, mm -hmm. it's the same exact people on and on camera. And I'm like, to me, that's rare. That's a rare formula mm -hmm. to be the same people in every formula. Cause you know, you got you again. It's reality. Yeah. It's like it's like Hollywood where you meet somebody on camera and then you see them in person. They're totally different. I'm like, yeah. and that's a good mark to leave to be and yourself. Sometimes we can get reckless with. 
we, let me just tell the people right now we have a lost episode and we have my boy Raymond on and he is one of the most reckless talking motherfuckers and I thank God that we lost the audio and, and the, the video, video ironically because like, if you guys would have watched that shit boy yo we do have a lost episode I, dude that was so ironic I'm like boy hey in that episode it was it was some of the most funnest shit but it was by far the most controversial shit it was so was ironic too because the next day I woke up like yo I can't find the video Drew like yeah, it, it made that one. That's probably a sign. Yeah, yeah it was a sign. Hey, that was a sign from God. Like, hey, don't put that shit out. I'm like, all right, all right, bet. I won't, I won't put it out. But yeah, thank God we lost that episode. Uh, but now you were saying dads are the heroes for these children. Yeah. Which we are a lot of times. And I'm going to just be frank with you. At fathers, we have, like, not, not all fathers, because some of you niggas is pieces of shits. But good fathers, our reaction time to saving our children's life from in immediate danger is 10 times greater than mom's. I don't care. I said it. I said it. You go to YouTube and you can pull up videos right now of just fathers saving their children's life right from getting hit by a car from all this shit. And the mother's reaction time is never, never as quick. I'm just saying, we're the real superheroes. Mom, mom, mamas are the nurturers. We are the heroes. Yeah. Now, with us being the heroes of our children, what would your dad's superpower be if you could have a superpower? Not even dad's superpower, just superpower in general. But since we are the superheroes of our kids, what would your dad power be? Hmm. You really want to be okay? Yeah. yeah. Every power that Deadpool has. No, 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 no. That's multiple powers. I, I just, one okay, power. Okay, fine. Uh, my one power would be I'm a superhero for my kid. I can't be Johnny Storm. Um, hmm. The scratching ability, because I can be begin editing and then scratch my arm, and then here you go. Now it goes it out. Oh, it's like 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 a uh, Mr. Fantastic yes. shit. Man, I feel like not to disrespect, but I feel like a stretching ability would be what would be a mother's ability, like. <laughs> You know, get your little ass over here. <laughs> like, I mean, it, I mean, they kind of did yeah, I mean, kill us. They kind of did steal that trope on her Incredibles because so that was the mom power. But I yeah. mean, but like, if you think about, it, a lot of women probably would want to stretch. They, you know, get, get your, you know. I'm just saying. Um, but so, what would you do? Is you so you just you know stretch stuff? I'll use know? it because uh, it because hey, sometimes I'll be editing mm -hmm. and I hate when I have to stop and then do this and then cause, hey, when I'm at a, a creative form, my mind is flowing a certain way. The moment I stop and interrupt it, then I got to get back on that mental flow and tone again. So if I had that scratching part, I was like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. here you go. Sit there, I'll get the phone right there. Here you your food. Boom, boom. Oh, I'm going to be right down. Boom, there you go. You know? Mm -hmm. And it come in handy from that multiple reasons because... Hey, with the stretching ability, are you able to control the size of your meat? I mean, since we're not in the Disney Channel, what the f do you think? Uh, we can. Hey, psh, what size you want tonight, baby? You want <laughs> that? Guy. You want? You want that ten or that six? You feel me? You want that foot long or the half sub? What you want? <laughs> no, with me, uh, my superpower that I would love to have would be um, teleportation. No, huh. I didn't think that. Yeah, just like you seen the movie Jumper, right? Yeah, like that. Just teleportation. I mean, the movie you was obsessed with. For hell of a house to go, you was watching every time it came on. It was TV. a good movie. It was a good movie. Um, but like you know, Nightcrawlers, anybody else that yeah. had teleportation abilities? Yeah. When, I, you, when you think when you say uh, teleportation, I would go go back and geek more. I legit thought Nightcrawler. And yeah, yeah. Nightcrawler. Yeah, for sure. And Deadpool. Like, like those are the first ones. I thought Deadpool and Nightcrawler. Now real Deadpool friends know yeah. that he can teleport and all that. The movie fans of, don't know of, that because of the belt though. Yeah, the real fans know that. The movie fans don't know that at all. So I'm like, and me, that's me taking a jab because everybody's mm -hmm. all of a sudden a fan. But yeah, go ahead. Yeah, but um, <laughs> the cool thing about the teleportation power is I can get myself or my family anywhere I want to go at, at almost to no cost. Like, hey, we want to go on a trip to Hawaii, right? I can book my room and shit. We don't got to pay for a flight. I don't even book a room. I just boom, poof there. And then do I mean, hang out all day. And then go back home. Yeah, but like, I mean, 
I, I would have just, I'm just assuming, you know, having yeah. powers of like, you know, have revolve some type of stamina to use it. Just like doing anything else in life, you have to have like a certain amount of stamina or whatnot. And so I can imagine like just doing too much teleport and not be exhausted. But what I see what you're saying. Uh, I randomly got brought up a Deadpool thing. I was like, why would X Men or just both really came out? Me and Terrell, the only one knew who Deadpool was. Remember? Mm -hmm. over, yo, I, I, I'm like, you hate to cut the cut of the hole and like, like the, but I'm like, yo, every time I bring up Deadpool, I'm thinking that it, all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but, um, Teleportation, that that would definitely be my part. I just feel like saying that teleportation. Teleportation. I keep I'm saying, <laughs> teleportation, I feel like that is the best power to have. It, and it definitely would make having vehicle obsolete. Like, why do I need to pay for gas? Why do I need Dude, to? Dude, do you know how many angles and shots I have with teleportation? I'd be everywhere. I'm in New York today. How you get there? Don't exactly, worry about exactly. it. Don't worry about it. Like, you, you know how many extra kids I will have? Let's just tie it back to Father's Day. You know how many kids I will have in like Puerto Rico, Colombia, Brazil, Canada, Japan? Shit. Kids wrong road. Whoever's the most famous, that's when I'll be like, hey, son, remember me? <laughs> I'm just, okay. Yo, <laughs> I'm just he's kidding. joking. I'm just joking. He's joking, right? <laughs> but at the same time, ain't ish people be doing that with their kids. Mm -hmm. The whole time the kids trying to do whatever they mm -hmm. do, they got no support. The moment they do what, you know, Drake, no. anybody do, all of a sudden, the father. Or whatever. No, I can't no. say father. And, the, and a lot of these people that are successful, they don't turn away their father because their whole life they yeah. wanted a relationship with their father. And I never want my kid to have that type of yeah. type of like aggression in life for not having their father there. Yeah. I mean, and like me, my dad was there. Like, um so let's just a little quick backstory. My dad went to jail a little bit after I was born and he was in jail for five years. And so I'll stay with my mom in Illinois. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to lie. A lot of my cousins and a lot of the male influences out there, they, they weren't that great, to be honest. If I probably would have stayed in Illinois, I'd probably be... You would have been a drill rapper. I, I would have been a drill rapper. I would have been, been, been one of them shy town niggas that probably beat people up, you know, carry, tote the, tote the iron and shit. I probably would have been one of those guys. But after my pops got out of jail, he did his, did his little bit, came and picked me up from Illinois and we moved he took me back to Oakland which really isn't that much better but you know got our shit together we got out of Oakland and we moved to Sacramento it's ironic too <laughs> Oakland like uh remember when we used, to, we used to go there like every couple of weeks right I'm like I'm so mad that we don't do that no more I'm like Yo, every freaking venture of business I have sometimes is out there and I'm mm -hmm. like if I can get there, then I go. Exactly. I'm like, yo, I started thinking, like, you used to go there so much. Mm -hmm. We just run and get hot dogs in San Francisco and mm -hmm. shit like that. So, I don't know what. Vallejo, because they used to live there. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, I'm like, yo, I wish, I wish. I'm like, I started thinking, like, I wish people would still go those little trips. Yeah, it, those it, little it'd trips. be a, it'd be a, a business endeavor, but still, I'll be in the car, but I'll be in the car. Oops, you know, I'm going to fart. That's like a bluebird. Hey, that's a bad problem right there. Uh, no, but it, are you able to share with the people stuff about your dad that, you know, about your relationship with your father? I mean, no. No, you don't want to? All right, we'll save that for uh, a later time. But my my dad, um, he he worked hard. I'll, I'll tell you that much. He, um, of course, he had a record. So getting things done was tough for him. He had, had the whole different jobs just to provide for us. And then it was a blended family on top of that. And just coming out of the prison system to try to like raise a family, it was he, it was really yeah. tough. It was really tough. And um, I don't, I don't, I, I say I don't thank him enough. He knows I'm very grateful for everything that he's done. But I can say that I don't thank him enough because I don't think about the obstacles and the yeah. variables that he had to go he, through. He, he's not, he, not you gotta uphold your face on too, because you can call him, he'd be happy you call, but he mm -hmm. had a serious face on. Like, mm -hmm. Cause hey, I, I'm like, yeah, best advice, one of the uh, best advice giver ever, ever. Give you advice like that. Mm -hmm. He's like, you're not just making this shit about you go as long you tell me mm -hmm. something because you've been through it. And mm -hmm. that's why I tell people advice on my Instagram, because I'm like, that's why I legit learned from like, 
Don't say don't say nothing unless you've been through it because like yo, when you get that in depth feel mm -hmm. when somebody tells you something they've been through, you like you're not telling me this to tell me this to make you shut up. You telling me this yeah. because you real life want me to change up. Okay. And like the thing with my dad is, um, all his kids are grown now. Honestly, all his kids are grown, and you know, I still I still talk to him and every day and almost every other day, still see him whatnot, and I could I could just see that he's not what's, what am I looking for he's not comfortable with his situation because I think he feels like he can do more than he, than he can physically do right now yeah. which isn't the case he did he did all he should have done yeah. he, did, he did all he could have done and um, I just want to let my father know that I love him I appreciate him and I respect him and I just want, you know, I'm, you know, constantly give him his flowers, constantly tell him that I love him and just let him know that he did a hell of a job, you know, help, helping, you know, raise all, all four of us, me, my three brothers and my sister. I said three brothers, two brothers <laughs> and my sister, even Reggie, fucking knuckleheaded ass, helped get raised by my father. I know knuckleheaded. Yes, you were. <laughs> yeah, but, um. Past tense. Hey, all I got to do is say thank you. You're a great example of what I want to be as a father. Even though, have those ass whoopers I didn't deserve. Actually, no. None no, of them. I, I didn't deserve no. none of those ass whoopers. I, I, I was the good one, god damn it. I, I shouldn't have. Yeah, got, but you was like. I shouldn't have got punished. He was, he was DB for DB General. He was like, stay stuck. Never snitch. Hey, <laughs> I shouldn't have got punished for other people's shit. Even yeah. when, uh, even when I was like, you know, I had always, evidence. I legit always mentally rewind back to those rainy days where, and look, like we know for a fact who was doing this stuff, but everybody would get yelled at. Yeah, and, and like, and and like you don't have evidence, you don't have the proof, yeah. but you know who did it. And at the time, I was covered, so I, I got sent home. And then eventually, I just was there when people would get yelled. I'm like, man, like, yo, I didn't. Uh, hey, if you. Were to I, I don't I don't want my I don't I don't want my kid uh, like I still kind of freaking break the the jealousy case mm -hmm. of uh it was uh well, again it was um uh, Rennick mm -hmm. and um they had a GameCube and um they had a wrestling game that everybody including myself uh Dad Reckon was in love with mm -hmm. and the moment we kept talking about it we came back one day it was scratched up and and then we were like who did it. Who did? Yeah, it? Yeah. I'm still trying to figure out that same thing with Chucky WrestleMania 25. I'm like, again, Chuck was so happy he got that. We left and came back. It was scratched up. I'm like, yo, that's all. I'm like, I'm still be trying to crack those jokes. I'm like, yo, cause me, I'm gonna just say call it this. That was a jealousy case right mm -hmm. there. Nobody, hey, no way. Cause, hey, we all have game distance today. They're not ready to scratch and let the kid touch it. But I'm like, that was always odd to me. Every mm -hmm. time we'd be at my house playing the game and we'd go back and next thing you know, it's like it scratch or something yeah. like, yo, yeah. yo. And then kind of at the time, it was too totally, it was a split universe from the parents and the kids. That's why I said the kids talk too much nowadays because they're in the split universe. It was a split universe where even when we speak about it in the car or something, going to Walmart, the parents would be looking at us like, what the fuck y'all talking yeah, about? Yeah, exactly. Like, they don't even, like, they're like, yo, well, y'all did a lot of, uh, like, Cause the universe is a split. We didn't talk as much as these kids down there. Oh, you kids talk way too much. Like we, we can legit. I gotta be. I gotta tell me. Shut up. Man, I tell my shut son that all the time. I tell my nephew like, stop being nosy. You a nosy little nigga. Yeah, sometimes I just like a moment of silence. You telling me everything going mm -hmm. in your house and everybody else. Oh, Anthony, Anthony, yeah. Anthony yeah. talk, bro. Yeah. Anthony yeah. talk, yeah. boy. He a talker. I mean, I was about to repeat what he said, but like, this is about to go on the internet. Yeah. I know, I'm my, not. My son did the same thing where he'd come and he'd tell me, yeah, I'm like, yo, mama, that's the only chill, thing chill, I need chill, to hear. Chill, that. I don't chill, need to hear. chill. I don't, I don't care about your, your mama relationship right now. It, it's just chill, right? Just chill hacks. And yeah. so that that's, with that, I just tell my daughter, like, you can't give away all your business. Um, the situation that happened with um, my my uh, premature baby, yeah. that, you know, we he passed. And like I gotta explain to my daughter, you know, the situation because you know she's like she has questions. Yeah. And then like I explained to her, so she understands now. But now I'm like, hey, you can't go around telling people that. Shut the hell, sh shut it's, up. <laughs> like this is like this is between us. It's weird because I realize I'm like, 
from the kids, from mm-hmm. children. I'm like, yo, the kids nowadays they don't speak vaguely. I'm like, yo, even Look, when I, comes, honestly, I don't think kids ever spoke vaguely. Like, yeah, even when it comes to even with my videos, my narrative, I'm like, if you understand, I'm not talking what is going on, right? I'm just speaking about past things mm-hmm. that happened like six or three months ago. I'm not talking. I'm like, kids, it can happen. Hey, I'm like, you're like, Ooh, yo, spilling the tea, boy, spilling the tea. And I gotta, I gotta make the, uh, make it clear. Like, I speak even vaguely. I don't want the stuff I be talking about sometimes. People don't even know the people be taking the shots. I'm like, people don't know what I'm talking about, who I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Unless you know me personally, you know I have written to you about the situation. But it's like, yo, kids, they don't, they don't know how to, they don't do that. And I try to teach them, like, yo, you can't use what I do against me because I'm not really saying nothing. I'm not putting nobody business out mm-hmm. there. But the people who know, know. That's why I, I start using that line. And I'm like, if you know, if you know, you know. Yeah. But the kids, you don't even have to know that. I tell you anything. Hey, names, last names, location, address, and everything. You're like, yo. Okay. You talking so, much. Since we're talking about kids, how how do you discipline your kid? Huh? What? How do you discipline your son? You know, uh, I, do take, you, I, do you whoop his I, ass? I, I take the phone from him. I whoop his ass sometimes. Mm-hmm. Uh, I make him, uh, I cut the TV off, make him lay down. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not one of those. Cause, hey, I learned this a long time ago. I'm not gonna lie. The moment you let a kid get away with it, they continue doing it. They can become worse. And he told me that about, you know, who. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I'm not going to do the same thing. I'm not raising, I'm not going to raise somebody mm-hmm. who be so nice and probably spoken in front of me. And the moment they leave out the house, they start doing some ridiculous ass mm-hmm. shit. I'm like, yo, he told me like, yeah, you know what his problem was? He got away with so much shit. Yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, yeah. And that's why mentally I think about that all the time. And mm-hmm. I think about it. Yada. I'm like, yeah, if you let a kid get away with something, then you go have that kid slowly becoming a demon because you thinking you go yell and go do something. That's not doing nothing because you built that demon inside you mm-hmm. and you did nothing. So, yes, I did it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, my forms of discipline is um, I take away, I take away privileges. You cannot watch your TV. You cannot play your tablet. You cannot play with your toys. You gotta sit there, stare at the wall, and write. The thing is, too, the kids nowadays, they think after you do that five minutes later, they nope. think they can act hey. again. Hey, my daughter, no. She's gotten in trouble enough times to know yeah. she ain't getting that shit back for some days. Like, um, I mean, like, I don't, I don't, I don't, my daughter's emotional. She that's, is very emotional. That's why I said it, it, it's better parents sitting in the same mm-hmm. house because you co parent, it's like splitting mindset because yeah, yeah. you got jokes going and then they got the other side mm-hmm. that, you know? Mm-hmm. So I'm like, it's better when it's. It's better when both parents yeah, are in the same place because it, what's one said, go, it ain't no, oh, he said that? Exactly. Like, F that on some <clears throat> devious ish. It's one of those you said, it's, it's done. So mm-hmm. it's that. that. So what, what Reggie said is 100% correct. Um, Parent, two parent households is extremely ideal for the development of children only because with two separate households it's easily two separate set of rules yeah. and you got so much going on with the kid that they don't know what's what and they yeah. just do whatever they think is right so yeah you're absolutely correct I, my daughter we do have she is in a two parent household which is good that's how I would want it yeah. and um, <clears throat> what I say goes with mommy says goes like if mommy has a rule for her that she told her to do i can't come and be like nah she ain't doing that like that, it, that's yeah, mix, that's undermining that's sending mixed signals yeah. to the kid and undermining the other parent <clears throat> so yeah you're right but um for as far as discipline goes i typically take care of the discipline because um i'm definitely the more stern parent yeah and the more direct parent. I think it's natural for the fathers mm-hmm. to just, you know. I to mean, take care of the discipline, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I do know certain people who, when the kids get disciplined, don't do that. Yeah, don't I'm do like, that. no, 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 hell no. Exactly, no. exactly. Uh, and, and it's funny because um, I, I don't, I don't want my daughter. She's probably got a good popping two, maybe three times. Now, Only because the behavior that she was yeah. doing was persistent. The thing is, and she doesn't do it no more. When I it comes to the whooping thing with me, you do some little basic shit. Like yeah, you get you get correctable. You get you get took in the phone using that, but you do something that's outrageous in my mm-hmm. opinion. You did I did I? Oh, you hey, get them. She broke my TV. I brought I brought a brand new TV, seven hundred dollar TV, and, and I didn't have it for more than like uh, two weeks. I remember, and I remember. she <laughs> broke it, boy. 
She got the spanking of a lifetime. I took away I, dude, everything. I would have felt some type of way too because I remember coming and then coming over here and you fucking um was playing the PlayStation. I'm like, oh yeah, this look raw. This look no one here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the time, I still had my uh, thirty-two inch. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, yeah, but this look dope. Yeah, I got, I got invested in the bigger TV too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And like, she be like, you know what I have to invest stuff in myself. So I didn't say it like that, but he yeah. said, treat, treat yourself like that. Like treat yourself. Uh, and I'm like. I'm like, yo, so I know it hurt more because I'm like, when something break, you just think of everything mm -hmm. that the, 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 the payment, the people, everything, the people like, oh, you finally do it, so you, all you think is the compliments, and yeah. like, yo. And, and how, then, how she broke the TV is like, and like, once she just like broke it, yeah. is how she broke it because she kept getting, moving really close, having the chair up on yeah. the TV, and I kept telling her every time, and being very stern, like, don't do that, get yeah. the chair from the TV. Stop doing this in this clothes. Stop doing that. You're going to mess with the TV. Yeah. And one night she was watching a scary video and hit the TV with the remote. Did, did, woke me up. She couldn't She couldn't even get herself together because she knew she was in trouble. She, she, she knew, knew she was she in trouble. Was and when I went out there and saw it, boy, I tore that ass up. Yo, you have to. Sometimes you just, it's just one of those like, okay, now you know you, you know damn well you mm -hmm. were not supposed to do that, mm -hmm. but you did that because you think. Oh, I was gonna let you slide because yeah. you're mine. Yeah. And me, I'd be saying lines like that, like, you think I'm gonna let you slide because you're my kid, I'm just gonna yell at every other kid. No, you get the whoop it too. I don't play that favoritism. Yeah, I don't play the favoritism, I don't play the bullying, I don't do none of that. So you gotta you gotta be very, very it, it took me a while too to uh, to whoop uh another person's kids. I'm like, it's one it's the one thing to whoop your kid. Nobody mm -hmm. even people tell you don't do it. Yeah. You can't tell me nothing. It's my kid. You was somebody else's kid, they're like, You just doing that to my kid, you're not doing this to your kid. Yeah. So me, I have to, you know what? Anybody who see me with my son, I'm yelling at him twenty four seven, they yeah. no favoritism. Yeah. Your kid get whooped like my kid get whooped, or else your kid don't think you get away with something. Exactly. You know what's funny about that? Yeah. Um, I got this rule about watching other people's kids. Yeah. I say F I'm not watching your kid unless what I get did, permission to whoop your what kid. Did I and I promise you, I will never whoop yeah. anybody else's kid. I just say that because... But what did I say? The moment my son came back at him, like, if you ever watch him, I'm like, you got all right permission to whoop me. Well, I said to everybody, I'm like, I'm not going to know the parents, like, oh, my son is doing yeah. something. Don't touch my kid. You're doing too much. No. Whoop him. If you talk back, whoop him. Why? Well, I'm like, he's going to teach you never to disrespect you either. I'm like, I can tell him not to, but at the same yeah. time, if... You handle him light way, or handle any kid light way, they gonna disrespect him regardless, even though they know you would do it. So, mm -hmm. like me, I, my my legit only rule is yeah, if you do something, whoop his ass. Yeah, Simple yeah. as that. Okay. I mean, but like like I was saying, I always say, I'm not watching your kid unless I got permission to whoop their ass. Even though I promise you, I will never whoop anybody else's kid. I will take away toys, make them go sit in the corner. Stuff like that, but you know, physically, I'm like, eh, I'll leave that up to you. I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you the car facts. I'll give you the credit report at the end. Of no the lie, I had, to, <laughs> I started popping other kids when I was with my kid, mm -hmm. and they were sitting there laughing. They did the same thing. They did the same thing. When they say, oh, you, you can get away. You can, you get away with it. You know, my kid, you getting your whooping too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I no, got you. I got you. Tell your parents. Oh, tell them. Tell, I don't care. You think I'm scared? I'm not. You know? I whoop the ass too. No, I, I, I didn't get one of those like. I, again, I tell you what I'm talking about. I go into reality in the prison mindset. Yeah. You think you can threaten me with your parents? I'm like, I got be I had beef for real people with any reality. You think I'm scared of your parents? Go get them. Mm -hmm. You think you give you go your parents name on me? I'ma stop to no. Yeah. But the moment you come here, your parents your parents words don't mean shit to me. You don't have their house. It's not the case. Stay at their house. You know. Okay. That's like me saying, okay, come get go get Christian trip, and then you know, every time. Chris would tell me, oh, yeah, why are you get to my son? <laughs> You'll be like, then why are you letting me have him? I can't tell him anything. I just yeah. got to be quiet while you do that ridiculous shit. Yeah. It's like, it don't make sense, do it? No, no, definitely not. And they th people, a kid's thing, if they say their parents' name, you're going to be suicidal. You can do everything yeah. you want to my house. Go ahead and mess it up. I'm like, no, I had to let it be known. You can't do that. Mm. Sorry. If you Different if, house, different rules. I'm like, hey, I'm not just hot person. Oh, you're related, so you can get away with messing up this place. You can go back home to a clean house. No, mm -hmm. I'm not that person. I yell at my kid. I'm gonna yell at you. Yeah. You think you're gonna get away slickly because you whatever you think Bandit you is stuff. mentally and you you disrespectful. You're a narcissist. You think you love everybody. That's not gonna fly here. You know. Mm -hmm. Now, um, let's talk about good fathers and bad fathers. 
because it is a Father's Day episode, oh, and yeah. we can't talk about Father's, been, we yeah. can't talk about Father's Day stuff without bringing in the bad dads too. No, we're not we're not giving the bad dads their flowers, mm -hmm. but this is this is this is more of a um, how would I want to put this now? A bad father, of course, is somebody who is uh, just just abusive. He's like, he's like a um, a, a reoccurring yeah. character on a TV show. Yeah, yeah. He, he's a, he's he's more of the probably the abusive type, or the only show up every blue moon, holiday. or the holiday dad, or the make a promises and never show up dad. The social media dad. The social yeah, the ones that would like you know post pictures with their kids yeah. but never be with them. Fuck you guys. Like, what? what? That would maybe, again, shit like that made me take uh, a lot of shit more serious. Mm -hmm. I would see sh that other people was doing. Yeah. And me, I had to build something like, sometimes you really don't mentally have to go through anything yeah. to build yourself better. Like, I see, like, and I'm like, that's when I started making mm -hmm. status. Like, I can't stand these social media has that, yada, yada, yeah. yada. Because they have a hundred happy fathers there on their timeline. And you're like, you know for a fact, reality yeah, not a father. But you give them, and then mine, I only have like two. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, but that, what the hell? But, but that doesn't matter. Just because what people see on the social media really yeah. doesn't matter. As long as your kid knows what you yeah. are, what you do for them. Um, what was I, I was, I had, I had a thought and I lost it. It was about yeah. You start talking. Okay. It's it's about the bad dads. So with the bad dads versus the good dads, one unfortunate thing about you know single fathers that are actually trying to stay in their child's life and trying to do the right thing, they typically have the toughest time with the baby moms. Uh, reasons, but nuts to me. I don't know people's situations, so I can't speak on it. But I do see fathers trying their best to actually you know do stuff with their kids, and yeah. they have a hard time. But the shitty fathers that ain't shit, they do not be on child support. They don't get they like they just scot-free and i just find it very unfortunate that that's how it is a lot of the times but just saying this saying this for us good dads and see i have my bad for good enough i have a, I, have, I used to have a past tense i used yeah. to have a situation like the shitty fathers where um i was never a bad dad ever i was always in the picture mm -hmm. had my son for months on end even you know taking food and clothes to his house mm -hmm. and at, at the house where i was at so, and then I was still having that where I had that mentally hatred towards me from yeah. the other parent. So I'm like, me, I'm, I'm not- But she wasn't keeping your son from you though, right? No. Exactly. I mean, he was in Green Bay for a while. I mean, but, that, but, she, but she'll send him out here. That's not keeping yeah. him from you. I'm saying it's not keeping him, but I'm like, I understand to an extent, cause me, again, I try to study psychology. Mm -hmm. Sometimes other parents do have that hatred where mm -hmm. when a bad father try to attempt to um, be a good father, and they know for a fact when they all every from past in situation mm -hmm. when you attempt to do that and they let them back in, give them addresses, and then they stop showing up, and the kid be like, "Where yeah. they had?" So I understand that to a extent, but I'm like, let the people embarrass themselves. Don't even have to do that. Yeah, and like fatherhood, fatherhood is on a spectrum. It's not yeah. just black and white. Yeah. So I get that too. Like there's there's levels to each like bracket of you yeah. know good to bad. That's why yeah. I can't I can't get I can't even give advice to it, like a reoccurring character mm -hmm. father because I'm like if you're not doing what I'm doing twenty four seven and uh, you're not doing what I'm doing and I can't give you advice because you ain't gonna you're gonna just shake your head and you're not gonna pay attention to my advice and you're gonna make it seem like it's all on the other parent you're not gonna actually point out your wrongdoings either that's why I'm like I cannot give advice because I'm like I know how that shit goes yeah. you know and me been you know when you people are over. 20 people vent to you about the same thing. You mm -hmm. see both sides. Because mm -hmm. me, I try to communicate with both sides. You see, you like, I can't say much. I just know how to be my type of father. How I not want to be as a father. I can't tell y'all what to do. I can just tell you what to do. And you can take my advice. You can take my advice. But hey, hey, hey that's why I'm like, I it just, is what it is. It's like you got to lift your hands up to it. So, um, now before we get out of here, and this is the my biggest question, and it's probably not that big to some of you people out here when you hear it, but <clears throat> as a good father, do you feel like you should have your kids on Father's Day or shouldn't? I mean, let's be honest. Uh, if we fathers, right? Mm -hmm. um, Father's Day is not really a, a, a we father Father's Day for us every day. Mm -hmm. It's just a holiday that's on a specific day, mm -hmm. so. It's what it's one of those. Father's Day is supposed to be a celebration of, of yeah, of, of, but at the same time we can be celebrating. But yeah. somewhere over a thousand people again, I have to bring it up because social media is part mm -hmm. of the universe now. 
uh, somewhere we getting bashed. Like, even though we actually really good talking, somebody mm-hmm. sent a picture of us like, yeah, just, you know, and they, it's a meme. Yeah. They think on you got the kids on father's that yada, yada, yada. Yeah. And people don't even know you personally, so I'm like, I'm like, I don't even feel like it's important. I mean, because you, you sound yes great no. father. It's just yes or no. I mean, yes. You feel like we shot the kids on father's Yeah, but no, it's like, so we're not going live well, or nothing. We're going to be just chilling, chillaxing, you know? Well, I'll put it like this. <clears throat> Should I have my kid on Father's Day? Fuck Hell no. no. You're going no. to the bar. I don't want my kid on Father's Day. It's Father's Day. It's for me. On Father's Day, fuck them kids. Get my feet done. Get Wait, what? Hey, get my feet done. You know, get a pedicure. Yeah. I want to go sit in the chair with the bubble jet foot soak, super soaker, Asian lady scrubbing the bottom of my shit. You I feel me? I want the massage chair. I want to go to the bar. I want to have a drink. Now, I ain't pausing yet because I'm serious. I don't want them kids on Father's Day. This day is for me. Pause. Fuck that. Father's Day and my birthday. Two days out of the year. No, I don't no. want to see your motherfucking face. That's the point I'm, I was making. Like It's Father's Day daily, every day. So it's not really important that you can do it though because you have them daily. All right, get the fuck out my you face home, on Father's Day. You come home from work. Your kid is hey, right there. You're I'm, playing a game. Right there. Your kid is right there. Right there. So. And who's my, taking care of him? Me. Who's sitting next to me all day? My kid. Like. So I'm like, it's not a, it's not a, again, that's why I said yeah. it's just a Pacific day with yeah. a title one. It's supposed to be a celebration. Like, let us celebrate then. Because like on Mother's Day, on Mother's Day, I don't mind taking my kid. Yeah. Mommy, you go do what you do. Go pamper yourself. But I want that same it's energy on Father's stand, Day. It's a double standard. They, they let the mom go out club and like, all that. That's, that's why I said at the beginning of the show. And, let's let's bring it back around. It the let's bring it back around. Because yeah. I said at the beginning of the show. Yeah, you see We said, want the same shit. Yeah. It's, a, it's a double standard. You go to come to the dad. You want to be out of view. You want to got your kid on. It's your father. Let's, let's, your let's kid, bring like, that shit full well, circle. Because I don't want you little niggas on father. I mean, they legit be planning like three weeks in advance on Mother's Day mm-hmm. what they do with the girls and whatnot. Yep. I'm like, when you come to us, is you ain't, oh, you ain't itch. You ain't got your yep. kid on yep. Father's yep. Day. I'm like, I'm it's, like it's, it's like a mental program they put into the universe. They mm-hmm. want people to think mm-hmm. you got mm-hmm. to have, and you don't. It's a celebration. Let us celebrate. Let me celebrate. Because, hey, we have our kids all the time. Mm-hmm. Why do we have to have it on our mm-hmm. celebration day? You know? Yeah, and like, so just, just, you know. Just a quick question, last question show, you know. What gift would you like? Not just specifically for Father's Day, but you know, it could be a Father's Day gift. It could be just think about like what would you want for Christmas, but for Father's Day. What I mean, gift would you if, like? If we come to Father's Day and gifts, I'll be quite honest, uh something like a, a ring light or something, just something. Yeah, something, something that's something, gonna something, use. Yeah, something I'm gonna Actually, but you know, use yeah. yeah, like you said, because like normally you get a gift, you be like, oh, that's cool, and it'd be like somewhere down there, yeah. you know, it just yeah. you, you never like, oh, you really you gave it away because I never did it. And you it was a gift, but it wasn't a thought out gift. You yeah. just got it from me, so you got it from me. And, and then your girl won't give you some like cologne and shit. Yeah. That cologne ain't for you. That's for her. You gonna put it on you? She's like, ooh, I smell. You smell good now. Yeah. You know I mean, no, I don't want that shit. I mean, I want a spa. Some head. gifts is like, uh, again, I love this word a lot. Narcissist gift because I'm like, everybody have a narcissist trait. Where uh, it's like when you buy your woman line, right? Yeah. It's that not for her. her. It's for it's like that's legit. That shit, like that shit ain't for her. And that's why that's why you don't see. I and you, you follow me. You, I touch your narcissism all the time. I'm like, mm-hmm. I see that trait in a lot of people because you say it's selfless. Mm-hmm. But it's something selfish about what you're yeah. doing. Look, if guys, if you're getting your girl lingerie, we know it's not for her. We know that's for you. We know it's for her to put on so you could look at it and rip off and, and do what you do. If you really cared about your woman, if you really cared about how comfortable she is, get her some sweatpants and a sports bra and a motherfucking bonnet. And I promise you, she'd be like, oh my God, this is great gifts. And you're going to be like, mm-hmm. Cause it ain't for you. Yeah. Fuck. That's like okay, you know your girl's into such and such, right? Mm-hmm. Instead of you getting her such and such, I'm because I got nothing to render the point out. Call of Duty. Instead of you getting her Call of Duty, you get her a WWE game or something, so y'all both to play. Y'all can play Call of Duty look, look, together. Look what I got us, babe. It's like it's a narcissism about it. You think you making it like it's selfless, right? Mm-hmm. But it's a really selfish gesture. That's mm-hmm. like. Okay, I love that word. Cause like, if you like, like, look deep into it. Everybody have traits of that, and mm-hmm. I point out my own traits of that sometimes. Mm-hmm. So like, if it's your girl, if it's a gift, 
make let it be an actual gift. Yeah. When it, no, a gift to me is something deeper where it touched the person's soul, it touched their mental, they, they just smile when they see it and everything. Yeah. That's a real gift right there. If you get them something that they didn't even care for, but you like, that's not really a gift. That's just something to say you got something. Yeah. Well, we're about to get out of here. We're calling it an episode. Uh, this has been your host, T. Robinson, Sep30 underscore get fit on Instagram. Fuck with me. Reggie, love pain 92, even on the pH system. Feel free to do your Googles. Uh, <laughs> happy Juneteenth. Okay, okay, okay. Happy Juneteenth. Happy Father's Day. We'll catch you guys on the next episode. Thank you.